Aries, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your monthly reading for November. Let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on with the collective of Aries? The month of November, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a love reading. I'm excited to tune into your energies. What's going on with the Aries during this time as we near the end of 2024? Let's get two more shuffles. What's going on? With the collective of Arians. One last shuffle. What's the general energy? Okay, ten of coins. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, six of cups. <clears throat> energy of the past. It could be a reconciliation here or just simply a benevolent energy that's being exchanged. Kinderness, ten of cups. Emotional fulfillment. Wow. And the strength card. Well, Aries, it seems as if you're most certainly engaging in a connection that that seems quite positive to say the least all right let's look deeper here what's going on with the six of cups the six of cups can entail a relationship from the past that's returning or this is a relationship that has a sense of history nevertheless the energy surrounding this is one of benevolence kindness generosity authenticity it's as if look it's as if a child let's just say there's a there's a young boy giving flowers to a woman. There is no ulterior motive here. There's just a boy wanting to be generous, wanting to be kind. It's a, it's a real kind energy is what I'm picking up. All right. <clears throat> Genuine kindness. Talk to me about the six. Queen of Wands. This could be you. All right. Queen of Wands. And we got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Aries, I get the sense that you're in this energy of just... <laughs> Again, benevolence, generosity, authenticity. All right, you could be in this feminine energy, feminine energy where you are being selfless, essentially, where you're very giving of yourself, where you're exuding emotional balance, emotional stability, and simply wanting to nurture and bless life around you. That is the Empress energy. Tell me some more about the Six of Coins, or rather, Six of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Cups, the Sun. Wow, absolute happiness, ladies and gents. Absolute happiness. What a positive start to your month, Lee Reading. All right, so you're telling me that Aries is simply the judgment. Hmm, could be a card of resurrecting a situation. Why is the judgment here? <clears throat> Why is the judgment here for Aries? Talk to me about this. The moon energy. All right, so I'm getting the sense that this is a relationship from the past, possibly a relationship in which there wasn't communication in, considering we have the moon here. All right, it could have been a situation where there was obscurity, but with this phoenix energy of things rising from its ashes, I'm getting a regenerative energy, all right? So something is being reborn, rebirth, and it feels very, very good. All right, what's going on here with the Ten of Cups? <clears throat> Ten of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Wands. This is a fury of energy propelling forward towards progress. Progress that entails cultivating an emotional, fulfilling relationship. Is that what I'm seeing here? Queen of Swords. Interesting. Could be dealing with an air sign. Could be dealing with an air sign. Tell me more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm making a mess. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Three of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody here that was at a distance. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I'm tuning into a relationship from the past, or at least there's an element, an element of history to this. Mind you, and I'm, I haven't gotten any romantic cards. So let's not get into this. I, well, the Ten of Cups is quite romantic. All right. Uh, I take that back. This could be quite romantic. Nevertheless, it's got a real generous energy to it. It's very friendly. It's very kindred is what I'm getting here. All right. So let's not dive into the idea, oh, I don't want to deal with my ex and this and that. This feels good, ladies and gentlemen. It feels good. Tell me some more about this Ten of Cups. The Death Energy and the Eight of Cups. Interesting. So I get the sense that there was some, some distance between you and this individual. There was some sort of blockages that had to be relinquished. There were certain blockages that were in the way of you and this individual commuting together. So fluidly all right there was obstacles here that compelled that compelled it could have been other people all right it could have been other people you guys could have been involved or someone else could have been involved nevertheless i feel that there was obstacles that had to be relinquished in order for you guys to come together so 
I'm getting the sense that when you guys communed in the past, it simply wasn't time for you guys to come together. There was something here that separated you, something here that got in the way of this relationship growing. Why is the strength here? Why is the strength here? <clears throat> Queen of Cups, Ten of Coins. All right, somebody here has got a lot of feelings. They got a lot of feelings. I feel like this individual wants to invest long term with the Ten of Coins. They, I mean, we got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Coins. This somebody here wants to invest into a relationship with you, Aries. Mind you, this could be you. I'm going to tune into your energy here in a moment. However, somebody here wants to invest significantly. However, with the Strength card being there, this is someone that is refraining from putting all their eggs in one basket. All right, they're refraining from being absolutely vulnerable. So they want to, but for whatever reason, they're apprehensive. What is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with? What a positive reading thus far. Let's see. Let's get one last shuffle. What is Aries' energy towards whomever it is that, that they are dealing with? Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Two of Wands. Emperor, that's you, and the Queen of Cups. Aries, I feel you a bit <sighs> dubious. Mm. Contemplative, let's say contemplative, all right? I see you quite con contemplative regarding the situation and what's your next move regarding it. You're in a position to be vulnerable. You're in a position to open up. You're in a position where the choice that you make will have quite a, or will ensue in a drastic transformation between you and this individual. In other words, if you go right, you guys may open up to a possible relationship. If you go left, you guys may open up to, you know, something completely different, an abandonment. But let me tell you what I'm seeing also. <clears throat> I am seeing that whatever it is that you're dealing with has quite a lot of potential here. Queen, or rather the Empress and the Emperor. Ladies and gents, I feel that you are faced with taking a risk, taking a risk in matters of love. That's what I'm saying. All right, and this is your dilemma. You're, you got the world upon your hands and you're able to make choices when it comes to this relationship, but you seem to be a bit dubious, uncertain. What's going on here with the two of wands? What's going on here with the two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Ten of Wands. This is stressing you out, Aries. There is an element of stress. You could be feeling a bit overwhelmed or burdened by this situation, which is compelling you to appear as someone that is emotionally disconnected. I feel that you're not wanting to invest emotionally into this as much as whomever it is that you're dealing with. I feel that your person is definitely more inclined to wearing their heart on their sleeve rather than you. All right, they are appearing as the Queen of Coins, or rather the Queen of Cups. Water energy while you are appearing as the Emperor and the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about Aries' energy. Hmm. Aries, I feel that with the Knight of Wands being here and the Four of Wands, I feel that you are entertaining the idea of this moving towards something significant. All right. The Four of Wands is a card of marriage. However, you yourself aren't appearing as someone, it's like you're the emperor. King of Swords, you're definitely in a position to invest a lot into this. And despite that, you're still a bit uncertain regarding what, path, what direction you want to take this. And in the midst of this, you're still entertaining it. You're still pursuing it. You're still invigorating it with your energy. Interesting. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. Whoops. What's going on here with the Emperor? Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? There you are. Two coins going back and forth, juggling. All right, just trying to make a sound choice is what I'm seeing here. The moon energy. You are in the dark. There's an element of obscurity, confusion. It could be a bit of insecurity here within you when it comes to this moon energy. Two of swords, uncertainty, all right? The path doesn't look clear. Your mind, it just seems a bit scattered when it comes to this. I really get the sense that you still need more information than what you have. In other words, you got to get to know the situation a little further for you to have that clarity that 
will allow you to make a sound choice. All right, tell me more, rather, tell me about, tell me about this Queen of Cups, tell me about this Queen of Cups, the justice. So who you're dealing with seems to be someone that is surrounded by integrity, someone here that is expressing truthfully, sharply, effectively, Three of Wands. Interesting. Why the Three of Wands here? The Three of Wands. This individual could feel, it feels as if this individual moves very slowly. They might have withdrawn or, you know, they, they might have invested. They might have invested into the situation. They might have been quite honest and truthful here with the justice energy, right? The, the sort of justice is one that cuts through bullshit. It's something very direct. Considering as the Queen of Cups, this is someone that is very expressive with their feelings, with where they invest their emotions. And for whatever reason, I'm seeing some sort of distance between you guys. And through this distance, it's as if they're waiting for something from you, Aries. All right. This Queen of Cups is waiting to see something from you. The King of Cups. Wow. King and Queen of Cups. All right. Take it as it resonates, ladies and gents. Gender does not necessarily matter in this. All right. However, this person has got some real strong feelings for you. And they most certainly want to invest. However, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to take some sort of action. It really looks like Aries is in a state of, you know, making a, a decision when it comes to this. So this individual seems to be simply waiting for your decision or simply waiting to see action from you or something of that sort. What's going on with whomever it is that Aries is dealing with and what is their energy toward Aries? Get two more. Let's get one more. All right, we got the Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Let me turn on the AC. So, ladies and gents, Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck. The Chariot, Card of Cancer. We got the Three of Coins, or rather the Three of Wands, and the Empress. Man, I just pulled your spread. You appeared as the Emperor. This person is appearing as the Empress. So, you guys, you're dealing with someone that is your match, flat out. Is not the first time this formula came about, all right? This is an interesting read to say the least. And look who just appeared once again. Wow. The Emperor. <clears throat> Speak of the devil, shall we? Anyways, Aries, let's see. Let's see where this rabbit hole leads us. So this individual seems quite fixed on whatever it is that they're moving towards. What is it that they're moving towards? Again, I feel that this individual has made themselves available to you, Aries. But with the three of wands being here, they're still in a, they're in a sense of, it's kind of like their hands are tied behind their back. They have already put in the work. They've already done, they're just waiting for their ships to come in, figuratively speaking. All right, they're waiting for the, uh, the what do you call it? The response, they're waiting for their investments to come their way. The investments of their efforts. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? The justice. Hmm. Okay, I remember, I told you, there's something about this Empress that exudes this energy of integrity, truthfulness, honesty. And here we go with this justice once again. The Temperance, Card of Sagittarius. Could be a Libra that you're dealing with, Taurus. We got a lot of major arcanas here, and the Emperor keeps reappearing underneath the sun. All right, so ladies and gents, who you're dealing with is being very, very patient. They're being very, very patient. The devil energy. Why is the devil here? I feel like this individual's got a real strong desire for you, Aries, with this uh, devil energy. I don't get the sense that it's toxic. It's not. The Hierophant. This individual wants to be in a relationship with you. This individual wants to take the relationship to a higher level of commitment, a higher level of union. All right? They feel a real strong, like I mentioned, a desire. A desire for you. But considering that devil energy was succeeded by the Hierophant, it's a, it's a spiritual connection to this individual. That's what I'm seeing here. We got nothing but major arcanas. Interesting. What's going on here with the three of wands? Why is the three of wands here for this individual? Two of wands. They are moving toward a state of conflict. Three of wands, two of wands, and as I was doing that math, the five of wands appeared. All right, so they are moving towards a state of conflict here, a state of mental friction. I'm in a state of mental friction during this period of waiting. 
Okay, they're beginning to question the relationship, they're beginning to question their own decision, their own investment, and they seem to be leading themselves toward a bit of an unbalanced state. That is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more. The Hermit Energy. This individual is going to be, it seems as if they're going to withdraw Aries. Like I mentioned, I feel like they, it's like their hands are tied behind their back. They poured into the situation and now they have, you know, they're going into a state of friction here with the Five of Wands. A state of not seeing eye to eye with you. You guys just simply aren't on the same page. And they're going to be withdrawing, so it seems. The Hermit. Let's look into this Empress Energy. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Four of coins. And there you go. This individual is going to be shutting off. This empress seems to be moving toward a state of blocking out their heart. In other words, they're not allowing anything in. They're not allowing anything out. And I feel that this is all because of some sort of stagnancy or some sort of waiting. All right. Interesting. Aries. Interesting. So, ladies and gents. It, I mean, you're, you're the emperor here. It really seems that the ball's on your court. It seems that there's an empress here, which, which is within reach. Within reach. So, Aries, it looks like you have some decisions to make when it comes to matters of love. And like I mentioned earlier, you're in a position where you simply, it's like, it's a risk in love, flat out. What this is, is a potential. Ace of coins, two of cups, this is all but a potential. What is a potential? A potential is simply an empty canvas. It's something that could be painted on. It's something that has yet to develop. And whatever it develops into, is, it depends upon your own choices, it depends upon your own decisions. Very, very fascinating. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm taking this to the extended, I'm gonna be diving into this empress, emperor, Whatever it is that you're dealing with, whomever it is that you're dealing with, take it as it resonates, ladies and gentlemen. All right. However, I'm going to be looking into their feelings. What are their feelings towards you? I'm going to be looking into this individual's perception of you, how it is, how it is that they view you. I'm going to be looking into this individual's future vision of what the relationship looks like. So what is it that they perceive the future to look like with you? And then I'm going to look into where this is headed, where the new where this relationship will be in the near future, given the current trajectories of both your energies. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Aries, it's a pleasure connecting. I'll see you guys next time.